Welcome to Destination Everywhere, to the last part of our three-part expedition to Antarctica series with Herta Gruten Cruises. Hi, we're Mandy in Orlando. We came across from Argentina by ship, across the Drake Passage, and onto the Antarctic continent. And we're now just above the Antarctic Circle, right here. We're spending five days on the ice, and in the last video we spent two days around Danko Island, hiking the penguin colony and cruising the Kodak Gap. But in this video, we're taking you to Nico Harbour, Coverville Island, and last stop, Whalers Bay on Deception Island. We'll see penguins waddling around the beach and flying through the water, fur seals at play, and we'll hear avalanches roar. There's also kayaking around the icebergs, and maybe you fancy a swim with us in the Antarctic. Oh, come on, how cold can it possibly be? So get your cameras ready, because there's wildlife everywhere. How beautiful is this? We're spending the day here at Nico Harbour. These are the first views from the back of the ship, and if we zoom in, we can see the glaciers. Can you see the little penguins porpoising through the water? And right behind them, over there on the ice, are two minky whales popping their heads up. In a minute, we're heading over to another penguin colony, and as always, the expedition team is there to supervise the launch and the landing. With these cruises, there's no wandering off by yourself. As this landing is on the continent rather than on an island, it's officially our seventh and final continent. Theirs, too. And if it's yours, be prepared to be quite emotional, realizing you made it to the other side of the world. Nico Harbour is home to these gorgeous walls of blue ice and they're prone to calving. They're also prone to avalanches and if this happens you're supposed to run uphill and not stand there and take photos. Oh, and that's why the expedition team always brings emergency supplies in case we get stranded. You have about an hour and a half on land, so what is there to do? Well, you hike along the beach and watch the penguins go about their business. It's pure comedy and they will entertain you all day long. And up I go. Oh, wait a minute, where am I? going to stick my big toe in. Oh, that's cold. Not sure if I'm going to go in today. I'll just stick my head in. Nope, nope, not doing it. If you're not going to play fair, I'm not playing. I'm going home and I'm taking my ball with me. The humans are just trying to get that perfect photo. We're just trying to get a selfie with the penguins, but the little buggers won't stand still. Wait, wait. Okay, smile. And then they do stand still, refuse to move and cause a traffic jam. We have a penguin traffic jam. We are literally all stuck here and we can't get past. And we can't disturb them. So we've been here for a good 10 minutes. Why? Because they're preening. I wonder what this giant Antarctic ice cube tastes like. 
It's time to take the Zodiacs back to the ship and head over to Coverville Island, the most gorgeous stop of them all. But don't put your cameras away because the whales are putting on a show. The penguins are right in front of the whale. We're cruising along Kodak Alley, also called the Kodak Gap. Its real name is Le Mer Channel, and it's the most photographed place on Antarctica. Oh, and there's a Chilean research center right in the middle of nowhere. I wonder if anyone's stationed there. Here we are at Coverville Island, and this is my very favorite photograph of the penguin colony and the blue ice. How stunning are these icebergs? Want to get closer? Take a kayak trip. Don't worry, you'll be with a group and a guide. It doesn't matter how many of these gorgeous Tiffany blue icebergs that I see, I'm still in awe every time. We can get a little closer, but not too close, because remember, they do tend to topple upside down. Closer to shore, and there are a few unexpected surprises. Like, what's the story with this shipwrecked boat? Our guide said it's left over from the whaling industry years ago. And what kind of birds are these? According to my bird chart, it's an Antarctic shack. And does this fur seal have hiccups? Oh, incoming! Penguin about to dive bomb! Talking of penguins, let's see what's happening on the colony today. This is quite different from the colonies that we've seen in the last few days. And we've seen three fur seals. Look at this guy over here. <laughs> Look at this guy over here. He's just flapping around, living his best life. that in this mob of about 50 penguins, this seal is the odd man out. Doesn't look like he cares though, he's passed out taking his afternoon nap. His two friends though are out in full force, slapping each other around. But are they fighting or are they playing? I'll ask him. Excuse me, uh, excuse me? Oh, never mind. I'll ask Magnus. Hi Magnus, how are you? We're on Coverville Island and I noticed that we've got fur seals this time. We didn't have them yesterday. How do they feel about the penguins and how do the penguins feel about them? Uh, they're neighbors, but not the best of neighbors. So actually, this one here had a little fight with the other penguins a moment ago. Why do they fight? Uh, you know, the people that you are closest to are the ones you often fight with. <laughs> but they don't eat each other. They don't want to eat well, each other. At least I've never seen a penguin eat a seal. <laughs> Thank you. This is the Penguin Highway. It is literally like a six lane motorway going up to the top. Oh, look at that big bird, oh my God. <gasps> what was that? And this is the road that they use to go up and down, to come down to the beach and go swimming for fish. And I never get tired of watching them come home. I was 
not expecting to see this. I thought this was driftwood, but there are no trees for thousands of miles. These are whale bones washed up onto the shore. Is that right, little penguin? <laughs> Don't look, it's a penguin's wing, and I bet I know who ate the penguin and left it there. This horrible skewer. They wait around to steal the eggs, and they eat the penguins too. Yeah, you. And he's hanging around here because this is where the baby chicks are. Ma'am, hello. I don't mean to bother you, I know you're busy, but would you mind stopping for just a second to have a photo taken with me? Lovely. Welcome to Deception Island, our final stop, and today we're going to walk along the beaches of Whalers Bay and literally trip over the seals. This stop is different from all the others because the island was once inhabited and was home to the whaling industry. From 1912 to 1932, the Norwegians had this bay as a whale processing plant. They took every part of the whale, including the bones for fertilizer and the oil, which was kept in these tanks. This building was where the workers who did all the processing lived, and now it's abandoned and the seals appear to have taken over. You can take a hike over to the other side of the bay where the British used to live. And guess what's behind the buildings? A mini penguin colony, with not just Gen 2 penguins, but chinstrap penguins too. This is the first time we've seen different species together. And look how cute! Like he's wearing a little army helmet. Meanwhile, down at the beach, a sailboat's just come in, which is rare to see and the seals are flat out sunbathing. This would be a good time to get our seal selfies. And look what's going on behind us. We've got an Antarctic shag hanging out with a penguin and these two are having their afternoon swim. And where's this guy hobbling off to? There's definitely something going on over there. Wait a minute. Are they doing the polar bear plunge? It looks like quite a few people are doing it, and these guys are obviously having a blast. All right, if you can't beat them, join them. It is. It's, be mad. it's uh, three and a half degrees, and we're going to do the polar bear plunge. <laughs> the mud's really warm, I'm surprised. Yeah, it's all warm, so is the water. It is? Yeah. I'm really cold, but I'm really hot at the same time. I don't know if I'm hot or cold. But we did it, and now it's time to step off the Antarctic continent and go back to the ship. And look who showed up to wave us off. Just as we're leaving. Oh, you're so sweet. Ooh, 
Well, that's a wrap for this three-part Antarctica series. Thank you for watching and thank you for letting us share the world with the world. If you loved your trip with us, don't forget to watch our other two Antarctic videos and we invite you to subscribe to our channel. Bye for now and we'll leave you with the penguins and see you in the next video.